Welcome to the Wealth and Wellness All Women Rock Podcast, hosted by me, Tamara, the CEO and founder of All Women Rock Global. Join me on this journey as we explore topics, conversations, and interviews related to wealth and wellness. Let's get started. Hey girl, hey. On today's episode, we are talking all things wealth. You're going to learn how you can start an online business in 30 days and start making money. This is actually from a live masterclass I did from the summer of 2020. On today, you will get the opportunity to listen to this masterclass and learn how you can launch and start an online business in just 30 days. Before you click off and say, I don't know what type of business I want to start. I know I want to start some, but I don't know what I want to do. Tamara, I don't know what I'm passionate about. No worries, sis. No worries. You will get the opportunity to learn how you can leverage one of your biggest assets that I believe you have, which is your personality, and use it to your advantage as an online entrepreneur. I'm also going to give you the seven best profitable online businesses, although this was recorded back in 2020, the same rules apply. You will also get a four week roadmap on how to get started that's going to help you go from point A to the end. Side note, this webinar is one hour long. I know it's long, but it's good and full of great content. So press pause, go get your pen, paper, glass of wine, water, whatever you need, and get ready to take some notes. And if you feel like, hey, I got a business, I don't really need this. I am a firm believer there is a hidden gem in everything. You can learn at least one thing, I promise you, that you didn't know. And if all else fails, sis, share this episode. It takes less than ten, two minutes to share this episode. So get your pen, get your paper, whatever you need, and we are about to get started. So let's take a listen. Welcome to Online Business Masterclass. I'm so excited to have each and every one of you here with me. And on today, we are learning how to start an online business and start it under 30 days. Within 30 days, we'll learn how to start our online business, how to launch it and start it. Thank you so much for joining me on today. And if you're listening to the recording, thank you as well. And we'll go ahead and get started. This webinar, this masterclass is for you if you are tired of the nine to five. You're looking for something new, ready to use your gifts, your talents digitally online, ready to start an online business and kind of unsure where to start or how to start. Is this you? Does one of these predicaments fit you? You're ready to use your gifts and talents. You're ready to start an online business and you're tired of the nine to five, getting up every day doing the same thing over and over again. Is this you? If it is, you are in the right place on today. Imagine if you could be working solely for yourself online. Just think about that for a moment. You are no longer trading your time for money with a nine to five. You could add value to people's lives just by sharing your expertise online. Just think about that for a moment. Because it could be you. I want to share um, some facts about me. For those that are unfamiliar with me, I am the founder of All Women Rock. But before then, I started in 2011, blogging with Tamara's Closet, then I eventually transitioned to I Am Tamara Nicole. As I stated, I started blogging in 2011 while searching for that perfect job with my two degrees. Um, my two degrees promised me. They promised me a great five or six figure job that I, I didn't get. So while I was searching for the job, I started out with Tamara's Closet, which was a closet full of inspiration, entertainment, and I would also do press releases. As you can see in the picture in the middle, I would, my first award show that I did was the Trumpet Awards and I had my media credentials. So I got the opportunity to walk the red carpet 
and I'm not necessarily not, let me go back, not walk the red carpet, but I had the opportunity to meet celebrities and take pictures of them. After that, I transitioned to doing events for people in Memphis, entrepreneurs as well as bloggers, and we would find ways to be creative and innovative with one another. One another. I would have speakers come in to speak to our audience, and we would network afterwards. In 2013, I thought I found my great career making good money, and God and my health had other things in store for me. I ended up having a cyst on my breast after tons of doctor's appointments. My job told me it was either us or your health, and I chose my health because at this time I did not have any FMLA no vacation time, no sick time. And as you know, when starting a new position, you don't have any of those things. So I chose my health. So around 2014, 2015 or so, if you can see on the next slide, on here, I started doing events. Once I stopped doing, well, I didn't necessarily stop blogging, but as I was looking for something else in life, I started doing events. And then I transitioned to Memphis Women Rock, which did great. Our very first event, Cocktails and Conversation, we had over 2,000 women interested in attending um, via Facebook. During the, I started Memphis Women Rock during the time I was fasting and praying and asking God, what's next? Because this was okay, but it wasn't necessary fulfilling. As you can see here, here's an article that I got the opportunity to write with Forbes Coaches Council. It was a great opportunity being able to share different articles on the Forbes platform, but I just kind of wanted something else. So around 2017, 2018, I just wanted something else and God spoke to me about Memphis on the Rock. So that's when I launched it. From then on, 2018, 2019, I launched All Women Rock Global. As of right now, we are in Memphis, DC, Charleston, Miami and Jacksonville, Florida. And I have managed directors in each one of these cities and they create and host events in their cities under the All Women Rock platform. What will you learn today? On today, I am going to show you how to start an online business, the seven best profitable online business that you can start on today, and we're gonna launch it within 30 days how to use your unique strengths and gifts and talents within starting an online business. I'm going to give you a four-week roadmap to help you get started. You'll also see on plat um, online platforms that you can get started with for free on today. And if you're anything like me, we've seen so many people online selling their talents and wondering, how can I create an online business? You have, I want you to know, you have an existing content expertise and God-given strength. You can start monetizing through a digital business. But I want to show you how you can get started with doing that on today. The most, the most asked question I get all the time, what is considered an online business? Most of us are, we know an online business as a website. We install a shopping cart, a payment method, and sell our products and services online. But there are so many more other online businesses that I'm going to share with you on today. As we all know, an online business is a business that conducts an, its entire or partial operations and generates revenue from online sales. Examples of online businesses that we are familiar with are t selling t-shirts, jewelry, IT services, consulting. I actually had my own website when I was selling my social media services online. I want to share with you a few that you have that have been game changers and are constantly on the rise with online businesses. The six profitable, successful online business that you can start today can be an online course which this one typically generates the most revenue. The second one is the online coach or consultant. The third one is an ebook. Then we have a subscription, a PDF, and a podcast. You might be saying, Tamara, I thought in the beginning you said we were going to do seven. 
I am going to share with you another one at the end of the webinar. So stay tuned to it till the end. But here are the six profitable and successful online businesses. If you need to take a picture of it, please screenshot it. Again, it's the online course. You could be an online coach or consultant. You can create an ebook. You can offer subscriptions or memberships. You can create a PDF that people can download and use or a webinar or possibly a podcast where people get to listen to you share expertise, interviews, um, stories at their leisure as they may be walking, washing dishes, exercising. People can just listen to your podcast online. I wanted to share this with you. This wasn't anything that I created. This is on the, on the um, online that you can look up. Digital education is the term used to refer to online educational practices. Look at this. Projections show that e-learning market worldwide is forecast to surpass 243 billion by 2022. Surpass 243 billion by US dollar by 2022. Think about that. Online education is all those different things that I just shared with you. Whether it be a course, a podcast, an ebook, whatever it may be, look at the money that the online business has generated and is continuing to generate. You can have a piece of this pie as well, too. Some of you might be thinking, well, what can I sell? How can I sell it? What do I bring to the table? I'm going to share that with you on today. You, you're going to learn how to take your strengths, gifts, and create an online business. For those that might be thinking, well, strengths, what strengths do I bring to the table? When you go for a job interview and you create a resume, you, you, we spend so much time creating a resume, then we have to go in and do another 30-minute application online. We research the company, we, we research the position, and we try to align our skills with, with what they are asking for. The same way that you take those same strengths that you do in a resume is the same thing that you do with starting an online business. Go back and get your resume and look at the things that you have listed. Are you a great communicator? Do you do well with um, managing multiple tasks? Are you great with project management? Are you great with um, leading a team, creating a team? Are you great with um, doing like team projects? All those things that you have listed on your resume, you know within effect you are highly skilled with those. That is what you use to create your online business. When you start thinking about your skills, what are you good at? What do, what do you do with the least amount of effort? What do people call you on the phone and ask you for advice for? Is it fashion? Is it recipes? Is it something health related? Is it something financial related? You're just giving out free advice. What do you love talking about the most? What do you love reading about the most? These are the things that we put together and create an online business with. I even listed weaknesses. Some of you might be thinking, well, weaknesses, um, how can I sell an online business with my weaknesses? And I'm here to tell you that you can. The things that you have been through, the things that you have uh, surpassed in your life, you can create an online business with that. This is your story. This is what makes you relatable. Things that you have been through. People want to know, how did you get here? How did you move forward after that happened? I often share a story with people because during the time where I didn't feel comfortable sharing my story, I got I had lunch with um, uh, evangelist Latrice Ryan. And I wanted to know, how do I share my story with people without feeling uncomfortable, without feeling like I'm sharing too much, without feeling like 
is this the right person to be sharing this with? And she just told me plain as day, there is somebody right now going through with what, what you've already been through. And they're wondering, how do I get past this? And that gave me the courage to know that I it's time for me to stop putting my feelings to the side. Now, if you haven't had the opportunity to overcome that obstacle in your life, then maybe the time is not right for you to start thinking about your weaknesses. But if you know within the shadow of your doubt, you've overcame this, you're okay with sharing your story. It's time for you to start sharing that with people. It makes you relatable as a business owner, being able to share your weaknesses, things that you've overcame. People want to know, how do I get past this? How do I obtain financial freedom? How do I get in better um, health and shape um, for myself as well as my family? How do I get there? Because right now I'm feeling stuck. And as we know, with COVID and a pandemic, it 10x is everything. It's times 10 thinking about things that we know we need to overcome and we need to do. And it has sort of put a barrier on a lot of things that we want to do and accomplish within our life. I want you to think about that. I wanted to share um, this with you as well. As you think about your strengths and your weaknesses, you guys can go to the All Women Rock website to read this blog post that I shared. But over the re weekend, my family and I got the opportunity to watch the movie Milan. This movie was so eye-opening to me in so many levels. I'm not going to go through all of the different things that I learned from it, but you can go to the website, allwomenrock.com, and read the blog post. But it was so, so eye-opening to see. I've never seen Mulan before. Never seen this before. I know it came out a while ago, but this is my first time seeing it. But I really liked how during the story, at the beginning of the story, you got to see how she was put in the box. And she was put in the box from her family. And she didn't fit the mold that they had prepared for her. Because I started thinking about her strengths and her weaknesses and how she was able to cultivate both of these different things and go on the journey that, was, that she needed to be on. And I know you might be saying, well, Tamara, it's just a, this is not real. But just think about these things. Think about the things from the movie. Her strengths that she brought to the table, her family and everyone else frowned upon them because they thought, no, this isn't the way you should go. This is not the path that I have prepared for you. And she felt like she didn't fit the mold of what they wanted her to do with her life. She felt like she was in darkness as she left home and tried to be a male and learn as she was learning martial arts. She left in darkness because she felt like she didn't fit who they wanted her to be. And she found her true self when an enemy asked her, who are you? So I'm going to, I'm going to leave it here, but I want you to think about who are you? Who are you? What do you bring to the table? The same way that we go comf just confident, full of confidence, going into these interviews, prepared, ready to tell them what, what we bring to the table, what skills we've obtained. You take those same skills, assets, strengths, weaknesses, and start an online business. You will be relatable when people get to see how you overcame it. Take those skills, whatever they may be. Are you good at reading? Are you good at writing? Think about those things. And I want you to start embracing your true identity. We are all leaders. We are all leaders. We all bring something different to the table. Here's a strength finder that I offer in my course, but I want to share it with you as well on today. As you start thinking about your different strengths that you bring to the table, think about those things. Are you creative, outgoing, fast learner? Again, these are things that we put on our resume and we're telling people what we bring to the table. You're a good listener. You're good with your hands. You're good at inspiring people. You're great at giving people advice. You're creative. You're a problem solver. You're good with math. 
You're good with children. You enjoy helping people. Think about how can I take these skills and translate this into an online business? And I want you to, this is a, one tip I want you to do. As you have started thinking about your different strengths that you bring to the table, I now want you to start, go to Google, go to google.com and start looking up online businesses related to this. If you're a health coach, just put in health coach. Then go to the related, se related section and then you'll see different things people look up related to health coach. Then start thinking about, well, I know how to do this. I bring this to the table. I can create an online course with this. I can create a podcast with this. Also go to YouTube. Go to YouTube and look up things related to whatever it is that you're thinking about doing. Whatever industry that you are interested in, that you are skilled in, that you have strengths in, look on Google and look on YouTube. And you'll see different things people have built a business online with. You'll see it. Look in the related section. What does it say? What are people looking up? Think about that. Again, take a screenshot if you need to. As you start listing out your strengths, your skills, and your weaknesses. I don't necessarily call them weaknesses. These are my assets because these are things that I overcame. So this makes it makes it makes it an asset in my life. It's not a liability, it's an asset because I overcame that. I overcame multiple rejections from trying to find a perfect job. I overcame having to leave a job because of my health. I overcame that. I've overcame certain, a lot of things within my life. Deciding whether or not to put gas in my tank or possibly put, give my daughter money for lunch for school people want to know how did you overcome that how did you transform during that what what helped you think about those things as you are evaluating and working on your strength want to share an example with you how you can do create an online business with your strengths your skills and your weaknesses again it's not a weakness it's an asset so if your strengths are being in customer service, communication, you are skilled at being a project manager in project management. Weakness, asset, I'm a single mom, financial loss, no job. You can create webinars, an online course teaching small business owners about customer service. You can create a PDF on project management teaching people how to get projects in line for their business. Your story is your weakness, your asset. How I got here, how I overcame this. It makes you relatable. This is how I overcame this. And this is, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how. It's not about selling the project management. It's not about teaching customer service. It's the transformation. I'm going to say this one more time. As you are thinking about your online business and what you bring to the table, you don't solely focus on when you are ready to promote this. Stop thinking about selling it, selling the, I'm going to teach your big small business. I'm going to teach small business owners about customer service. You need to sell the transformation. How are you going to take them from point A to point B? how you can take them from point B to point C. Share your story, get vulnerable with them. People want to see that. You might say, that's, that's kind of unfair. It's sales. Whether you think it's unfair or not, it's sales. Hearing somebody's story, think about when you go to Amazon, you see reviews, this worked, this did not work. Testimonials, it's sales. It's time to get our feelings out of it and start getting our thoughts together on how to generate income outside of a nine to five and start an online business that's, that is successful in generating profits and revenue. So again, I'm going to say it again. Take a screenshot if you need to. 
if your strengths are customer service communication, think about your skills. What am I good at? I'm good at being a manager and project management. Weakness. No, it's not a weakness. It's an asset. Single mom. I've endured financial loss. No job. Sell the transformation. Not what not the not the business. Sell the transformation that people will get. Your strength finder benefits. You're no longer wasting time on stuff you don't like or bring you joy. You know how on Sunday evenings we're upset, we're tired, we're irritated, and do not want to go to work. As we start evaluating our strengths, we're no longer wasting time on stuff we don't like. We're less stressed out, and you'll be able to create a brand that is very unique and nobody will be able to duplicate it. As you start looking online, some people tend to get overwhelmed at seeing how many people are offering what it is that they want to offer. But your strength and your weakness is your asset makes you unique. Because no one has been through the same things that you've been through. No one has all your strengths, skills, and weaknesses. They don't. No one has that. Nobody can offer that transformation like you can. Everybody as a financial coach has endured um, losing a loved one or divorce. Everyone that's a health coach hasn't been a single mom going, trying to figure out how to survive going from apartment to apartment, house to house, been evicted. Everyone has an endured bankruptcy. Everyone has endured a repossession. As you evaluate your strength, your skills, and your assets, you are creating a brand that nobody can duplicate because you're sharing your story. You're putting together your skills and your strengths. And that makes you a valuable brand. So here's a quick recap. So far, we've been thinking about our strengths and how we need to, if we need to pull out our resume, we will. We're thinking about what we're skilled at. What do people call us for? What are people asking our opinion for? What can you do with the least amount of effort? Are you good at baking? Are you good at cooking? Are you good at poems? Are you good at resume writing? Are you good at IT? Are you good at graphics? What can you do with the least amount of effort? What are your weaknesses, your assets? It's time for us to start sharing our story. And now we'll move on to the different things that we create as we're creating our online business. If you are interested in creating a record, live or recorded course, your course can be 20 to 60, yeah, 20, 30, or 60 minutes long. You can record it or you can go live via Zoom. Your topic, how to create summer cocktails guests will love. Learn four to six ways on how to lose weight during the holidays. Create a life that you will enjoy. As I stated, Google topics in your industry. Look over the related section to see what people are searching for. Go to YouTube and look it up. You can create a live or recorded course. You re can record it via Webinar Jam. You can do it live via YouTube, Zoom. A PDF or workbook. A PDF guide is something people can download and read at their leisure. They give direction on how to complete a particular task. A document they can print and work in. A workbook they can print and write in. A PDF is just a guide. A workbook is something that they can actually write things down in. Or like a journal. What are your strengths? Customer service, photography, inspiring people, helping people. What do you know how to create? What are you good at? Think about those different things. These are things that you can sell and generate passive income online with. Here's some examples. 10 dinner ideas you can make less than 30 minutes your family will love. 
as I stated, an inspirational journal. I've created a 30 day affirmations guide. In that guide, I listed the affirmation and then people could write their notes at the bottom. How to start cultivate 30 days of happiness. Right now, people are looking for that more than ever. How to be happy during a pandemic. I've created a beginner's business blueprint. Let them know what they'll learn in their guide. Let them know what they'll learn in it. Let them know what's in this guide. This is an example from one of my virtual mentors, Shalene Johnson. And she was sharing things about Instagram marketing. Let them know what they can expect and learn from their guide. Ebooks. Ebooks have more content and longer. They require more work and time, but they can be very profitable. You can create an ebook with five, three to five chapters, five to seven chapters, seven to ten chapters. Start your ebook off with your why. Why? Let them know again our assets, how it's going to help them, how you're going to transform them, why you got started. Remember your story. That's the beginning right off the bat. They don't have to be long. They could be three to five chapters, five to seven or seven to 10. They require more work, but they can be very profitable. And here's a little gem within the gem. You can go to kdp.amazon.com and sell your ebook on Amazon. Subscriptions and membership. This is your reoccurring monthly income. You, the goal with a subscription or membership is providing something new each month. If you're a health coach, you can offer consulting once a month as a subscription or membership. Again, it can include products and or services. Some examples that you can create is different treats that you offer. You can just offer different videos once, once a month, recipes, e-learning clothes. Think about the big companies that we purchase things from. They have them too. Panera Bread. They have it where you can get coffee for $8 a month. Nike, Just Fab, Shoe Dazzle, Apple. All of these huge corporations have monthly subscription memberships. And you can do the same with your strengths, skills, and assets. Again, give your audience what they want. Give them something that is authentic and keep them coming back. That's how you continue to generate revenue with your subscription and membership. You can create this via pay PayPal, so you don't have to get anything strenuous. Again, if you're just offering e-learning, you can do it via Zoom, and you can accept your payments through PayPal. I've seen price points for e-learning memberships actually beyond $150. I've seen them go from $5 up to $2,000 per month. Just think about it. If you're offering e-learning for $50 per month and you have 20 students enrolled, you are earning $1,000 per month. $1,000 per month. But you got to give them something once a month that they are intrigued and can't wait for the next thing the following month. And this is easy to do because you might be thinking, well, I might run out of ideas. Think about the different seasons we have, the different holidays. You can create something every month based on those things alone that helps people throughout those different seasons, school, fall, holidays, beginning of the year, is most people are... Um, Weight loss, wanting to be inspired, want to start that new year off right, Valentine's Day, spring, spring break, spring cleaning, summer is about to come. Think about those things. You can offer all types of content based on seasons and holidays. So you'll never run out of ideas. And again, 
Google things related and you will find tons of information that gives you inspiration to help you in these different areas. And some people tend to get upset with subscription and memberships when sales do not come in like they expect them to, or when people cancel. It will happen. The two different types of subscriptions and memberships that you can offer is front end and back end. The front end is when you introduce your products and services before people buy. For instance, if you were a finance coach and you say, hey, I just launched a monthly membership teaching you how to get your finances in order. I'm introducing it to you before you've even bought anything from me. The back end is when you introduce this after they have bought their first product from you. So if you offer coaching as a paid product, after they're paid for their very first product from you, you can then introduce, basically, you're taking them through your sales funnel, upselling them on something else that you have to offer. And that's selling a subscription membership on the back end. Podcast. This is actually one of my favorites. I have the Merchant Podcast as well as the Morning Mist Inspiration Podcast. I'm going to say it again. You can Google content related to the industry, Google topics in the area. You can offer educational podcasts, interviews where you're interviewing different people in different industries, and you can offer stories. Think about, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the show Dirty John. That started out as a podcast. And then it transformed to a tele a movie as well as a television show. I think it was a movie or just possibly a television show. The way that you generate money with a podcast is through sponsorship. Once your podcast continues to grow with listeners, you can monetize it. And the best way to keep your podcast flowing and get more people interested in it is sharing content weekly. Sponsorships is just the same as when you're listening to the radio or when you're watching TV and they have to take a break. That's when sponsors come in and they can offer, you can offer them a 30 second, 60 second slot where someone is offering their products and services in the middle of your podcast, beginning of your podcast, the ending of your podcast. So you people will can pay you and will pay you to have a slot on your podcast where they can advertise their products and services. Again, you can offer educational where you're offering something educational weekly. You can do interviews and stories, or you can do a combination of all three with your podcast. The next one is an online coach or consultant. You can start this off by listing five to, five to seven topics of content that you can offer. You can also create two to three coaching packages to fit different audience budgets. For instance, you can offer a, a coaching package um, for that could be like a lower price point. And then the second one could be a higher price point. And you could possibly do a third one. That's a combination of both of them. You can create these different co coaching packages based on the audience that you serve. If you have an audience that consists of um, like more than one demographic or serves multiple purposes, then that's how you create your different tiers for your pro coaching packages. You can be a coach consultant in industries that you worked in in your career that you enjoy, whether it be healthcare, human resources, project management, customer service. You can offer, you can be an online coach or consultant in these areas. You can do it either as you are helping their business within those areas or you're offering consulting in those areas. If you can help them or consult them. And you can include that in your packages as well. And I wanted to share this with you because I know sometimes people tend to get discouraged or upset. And not necessarily upset, but 
tend to think, I don't think what I bring to the table is sellable. And I want to share with you from my mentor, um, Pat Flynn. He has his podcast is uh, Smart Passive Income. He has an episode on his podcast where he got the opportunity to interview Deborah Neiman, and she shares her story of creating a course about GOATS. Yes. So she had, she's been very profitable teaching people how to care for GOATS, just a, a wide range of things that you can learn from her about GOATS. Online course about GOATS. Here's another young lady where she created a online um, course teaching you how to heal from fibroids. Again, our assets, our weaknesses, we can sell. Things that she's overcame, she's been able to overcome in her life. She's created the online course for her. Her online course teaching you about how to naturally heal from fibroids. When she first started, she generated over $19,000 with So you can create a course, an online business with just about anything. And I guarantee you there's an audience out there that wants to learn from you. I've also, I want to share this with you too. I've even seen a lady make over $20,000 from teaching people how to co-parent. So basically, if you are not with your child's um, with your ex, you can teach people how to co-parent. She's generated over $20,000 within this course. And here's a quick recap of what we've learned so far. We've learned about our strengths. We will learn about different courses we can offer, a live or recorded course, a PDF or workbook, a podcast, an ebook, online coaching and consulting, as well as a subscription and membership. The best online platforms to use for starting out. For courses, Teachable is a great platform. I've used both of these before and you can actually get started with both of them for free with starting your online business, Teachable or Kajabi. For your podcast, you can use Anchor. Anchor is absolutely free. Buzzsprout, I think they have a free trial, but they are not free. For your workbooks, recording, um, and your ebook, you, for recording, Zoom, as you know, Zoom is free for the first 30 minutes. After that, I believe it's like $16 per month. Creating workbooks and ebooks in Canva, Canva is free, but they do have a paid version as well. These are all platforms you can get started with for absolutely free with creating courses, memberships, podcasts, workbooks, recording your courses, or going live with them as well. Time wasters. Time wasters. We often think we can't accomplish any of these things with starting an online business because we think that we need to have everything together. We need a lot of money. We need to hire someone to help us with social media graphics. Nope, you don't have to do that. You do not have to have everything together. You can build and grow as you have started your business. You do not need a lot of money. You can hire someone. No, you might, might be thinking I need to hire someone to help me with my graphics or social media. You don't, you can do it in camp. Canva has a lot of plug and play, which means you can find different templates that fit what you're looking for and take out the information they have and put your business information in there. You do not need a lot of followers in order to start an online business. You don't necessarily have to um, be a business owner to start an online business. A lot of times we tend to think we need to have our license, our LLC, our EIN. You can get those things as you progress forward. But you basically need one of those different platforms I listed in a PayPal account or Stripe, whatever you use to accept payments. Those are what you need to get started. 
you can and I would advise down the line to get your EIN, your business license, and other things that might be needed for your business. But you don't need a lot of that and don't waste time with trying to get all those things together. Oftentimes we're listening to everyone on what we should do and how we should do it. We have to be laser focused, have a tunnel vision when we're starting our online business. And sometimes we are all over the place. We're gravitating to what everyone is suggesting and they're doing to generate revenue. It's time out for that. It's time for us to start using our unique talents, skills, and assets to start an online business. Multi-level marketing is not for everyone. No more time wasting. It's time for us to get it together and start our own business using what we already bring to the table. Weekly milestones. It's time for us to get ready, set, and launch our online business. In week one, you, it's best to start with your evaluating what your strengths are, your skills are, and your assets. It's best to start with thinking about three to four strengths that you bring to the table, two skills, and one asset. Think about things that you're passionate about that you absolutely love doing. Don't start an online business with something that you're not interested in. If you work in customer service and hate it, don't start an online business with it because people will see that you're not passionate about it. Find something that you are interested in. You don't have to be passionate about it, but something that you're interested in. Again, three to four strengths, two skills, one asset. If you can't think of that, means just start with one. Week two, start thinking about what you're going to offer, what online business you will create. Start working on your content because you already know by then your strengths, your skills, and your asset. Now we start, it's time to start putting it together and thinking about what online business you create, whether it be a podcast, a PDF, a workbook, an ebook, an online course, coaching or consulting. What kind of content will I, can I offer? Think of your topics and your subtopics. Week three, do, do not sign up for anything in week one or week two. Week three, is when you sign up with your platform. The reason I say this is because you haven't put everything together and two, some of these platforms only offer a weekly, a one week or two week trial. And you don't wanna be paying for something you don't have all of your stuff together. So week two, think about what it is that you're gonna offer, what type of online business you create, work on your content. By week three, you, are, you, you know what platform you wanna sign up for. Week four, start promoting those topics. Again, we're not selling the name of it. We're selling the transformation. How are you going to help them? That's what you sell. That's what you pr promote on social media. You can create your graphics for social media and Canva absolutely free. Promote your subtopic. Share your story. Share your testimonials. Share how you've helped people. Think about those people that you've helped for free. Get a review or testimonial from them. And that's what you'll work on for week four. Again, you can take a picture of it if needed. Recap. All right, the platforms that we are going to get started with. We're going to get started with either Zoom, Anchor, Teachable, Kajabi, Squarespace. Squarespace is for a website. I love Squarespace, and that who, that's who hosts my website. Or Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout is for your podcast. But Zoom is for your recording or going live. Anchor is for your podcast. Teachable is for your online course or membership. Kajabi is for your online course, membership, or coaching. Squarespace is for your website. Buzzsprout is for your podcast. 
We are avoiding time wasters. You can change it as you progress and move along. Things will change as you keep going forward. You will change it. You will change your topic. You will change what you offer. But the idea is to get started and get started within four weeks up and running. Week one and two, we're thinking about our strengths, our skills, and our assets. What we're going to offer, what platform works best for us. Week three and four, we're going to sign up for a platform and promote our online business. We're no longer scared. We're ready to share our story. You can start off by sharing your story on social media, why you wanted to get started, how you were transformed, how you went from point A to point B, how you can help them get from point A to point B. That's a recap of our week one, week two, week three, and week four. We're no longer wasting time. And we know what platforms we can start, get started with now. Did you enjoy the episode? I know there was a lot to take in. Notes have been listed in the show notes. Please leave us a comment or send us a message on social media at All Women Rock Global on all social media channels and let us know. I know it was a lot. Again, I want you guys to be able to review your notes and allow it to marinate. Until next time, girl, you got this.